Ghost Rebels, where the fans never lose a tailgate and don't plan on losing the game today. What we have in store for you today, a clash between a couple of SEC teams that could have season-long ramifications. As we'll see, the Oklahoma Sooners taking on the sixth-ranked team in the land, the Ole Miss Rebels. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Rebels will put total leather and will get started. And he takes this from inside the five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. The Sooners offense will have the first possession of the game. When this guy comes onto the field, David, he seems to bring the it factor with him. So much fun as a play caller to have a guy you depend on, you trust, you know, Palmer, you're going to get the best out of this young man. He's also one of those guys, David, who just elevates everybody else around him, right? All ten guys in that huddle offensively just seem to play better knowing they've got confidence in this guy. They'll throw it on first down. They're trying to get to it. Oh, he dropped it, and what a missed opportunity early in this football game. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. Quarterback on the keeper. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. They'll run play action. Coming after it. Trying to make magic with his feet. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. And the Sooners want to pick up the tempo. Nice job, nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. The Sooners will line it up on first and ten. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. They're bringing heat. Got a man. It's Beebe. Guys, this rough start is hardly what they had in mind to start SEC play, and it's not going to get any easier. Well, no doubt about it. There were big expectations surrounding this program inside SEC play this year, and things haven't necessarily gone their way. They've had to fight a ton of adversity, but, David, they believe they have the leadership in the locker room to turn it around, but it's got to start today. Yeah, one at a time. Like, we got to start today. we got to find something. we got to find what we're really good at, what we can hang our hat on so we can start to build some momentum throughout the season. Obviously, not the start we wanted, but we got to pull it to the next opportunity. Thompson to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. And the quarterback goes down at the 11 yard line. I don't think when the quarterback called out the Mike Backer that he knew that the Mike Backer was going to come calling on him quite so quickly. Now, it was good timing, right? Like, you don't want to show it too soon when the offensive lineman call it out and pick you up. You can tell, did a good job buying a little bit of time. And then on the snap, boom, shot out of a cannon, right to the quarterback, gets the sack. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Getting some heat. And this defense goes back to back sack, Jack. Great timing by the defense there. Obviously, the offense has the ball in the red zone. You're trying to create a negative play to back them up. They do that with the sack. And if they're now going to try a field goal, it's going to be a little more work for the kicker. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. The kicker will try to punch one through from 41 yards away. Splits the uprights. Good. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. I'll tell you, this is not an easy place to play on the road, especially at nighttime. This crowd, they get loud. That's the way it's been so far, but they have a nice drive to open it up. They're able to execute. They put themselves in field goal range, knock it through the uprights. They did exactly what they needed to do, taking a 3-0 lead here early on the road. That's impressive. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. 
He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Rebels offense has the ball for the first time. And the spotlight in this game will undoubtedly be on these star wide receivers, David. I mean, they're featured, Reese. Like, these guys are going to touch the football a lot. These offenses are built to get them the football to make plays. We're in for a few catches today, Primer. We sure are. When you can get open like these guys can, when you have the speed to take the top off of the defense, you know you're going to see a lot of explosive plays today. Works his way into the traffic and picks up three to the 17. The Rebels moving quickly to the line. Looking to throw, it's dark. Pressure coming. He'll pull it down. Short gain on the play before he slides. And the Rebels will punt it away on fourth down. He'll bring it back. It's Burks. He'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. The Sooner offense returns to the field. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall that just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front. But they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. Off play action. A shot toward the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Oklahoma! Man, really nice job attacking the middle of the field. You see those safeties? Man, I want to split them. He splits it right down the middle, throws that post right on the numbers, catches the ball in the end zone. Touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Hey, guys, got a final score in a big top 25 matchup. Penn State is going to enjoy the trip back to Happy Valley after a rock-solid performance. And you take care of business on the road, and you stack wins there in Beaver Stadium, and suddenly it's quite the resume. Each week in college football, the tests are just so tough, and we found that out again today, guys, with another ranked team going down. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. Grab behind the line. It's Wells. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. The Rebels are in the hurry up. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Caught in the backfield. It's Bentley. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Wants to bring it back. Coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42-yard line. Here comes the Oklahoma offense. Snags it quickly on the left. Still on his feet at the 45. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Offense lining up quickly. It's a really nice throw. It's so impressive watching this Oklahoma passing attack now. You think back to Bob Stoops taking over as head coach in 1999 and bringing with him the air raid offense, a style of passing attack that still wasn't very prevalent in college football at the time, but since then they've always had good quarterback play. And guys that could play up tempo, make good decisions. This dude right here, he fits in perfectly with what they're trying to do throwing the ball in Norman, Oklahoma. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown Sooners! 
They've extended the lead and taken control here in week nine. And this offense is clicking. Another touchdown. Didn't have to go far for this drive, but this offense is doing what they want, how they want, when they want. Ready to try the point after. Is on for the extra point. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they close the deal with a 20-yard pass for six. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Trying to get to it. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. And the defense has got it. And they're trying to pick up some yards. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Not content to get the fumble. They scored with the fumble. What a play by the defense there. Loose football. Country fumble. Pick it up with room, scoop, and score. No doubt, country versus city. When it's a country fumble, nobody around. I got to pick that puppy up and do some damage with it. Nice job seeing the situation, scooping it up, making a play. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. They're just about to kick it off after that scoop and score six. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. On the run, it's Bentley. Yeah, it's a bit of a surge, and he's knocked down after picking up three to the 26. Got three on first down at second and seven. A little misdirection and the handoff on the counter. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback is snowed under. We haven't even gotten to halftime yet. This offense has their hands full trying to keep this quarterback standing up straight. They've already given up multiple sacks. That's the biggest reason why they're trailing by as much as they are. They better go in at halftime and make some big-time adjustments. Well, after not getting a thing done on first down, it's second and long from the 24. Back to throw. It's Dart. They're setting up the screen. At the 35, he's open. Hard-hitting tackle. Lining up, trying to convert this third and short from the 40. They'll try to power their way ahead. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. They'll get him corralled and down at about the 19-yard line. Now the Oklahoma offense will go back to work. Hold and finds his man on the left. Got room at the 35. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. 
able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Now the play fake. What great protection, and he lets it go down the middle. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Out of the shotgun on third down. And he can't escape, and down he goes. quarter break with Oklahoma on top. They wanted to strike first and strike hard, and they've been able to do that here in the first quarter as we take a look at the stats. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. The Sooners will call on their punt team. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Roughing the Roughing kicker. kicker. Defense. Defense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps this drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. They make the stop right at the 30-yard line, but it's a 10-yard pickup and a first down. And the Sooners are moving quickly down the field. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Wrestled down at the 26. It's a gain of four. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. The play action fake. Throws to the tight end. Working that left side. Huge game before he goes out of bounds. And now they've got it first and goal. They move the tight end all over. They'll use the running game on first and goal. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense rolls up deep in his own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle, trying to find his way to the goal line. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Get it out on the screen. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. Didn't make him sweat at all. It's good. And now the lead is extended a little far. Lee just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. Here he comes with the return. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Red pass, it's complete. Makes the stop at the 30, but a big 15-yard pickup gets him out of trouble. They'll snap this one from the 30 on first and 10. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man. And they exploited that soft spot, and they get it down to the 35. Well, they wanted this guy catching the ball on the right side of the field. They could have just lined him up over there, but they didn't that time. He started off on the left side. He crossed the defense and made the catch on the right side of the field. Open space at the 25. 
He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And that's why through the offensive coordinator, you've got to find as many ways as possible to get this guy going. Just get him the ball close to the line of scrimmage. Doesn't need to be a throw deep down the field. He's so dynamic when he has the ball in his hands. You saw it right there. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. He's going to pass. They're trying to get to it. The freshman able to get home with the sack. Yeah, and how about this defense, man? That's the third sack of the day. They've been putting pressure, getting him on the ground. Not something they've been good at throughout this season. This defense playing better because they're getting more pressure on the quarterback. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting after the passer. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. This is a third and long. Third and coming up. Back to pass. It's dark. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. They'll play it safe and try for three. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Notre Dame went into hostile territory and came away with a convincing victory. The Irish always get everyone's best punch, but today they took that punch and delivered a knockout of their own. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome, and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standards, fellas. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there, Kevin. Thanks for the update. You guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. That last drive was a long one, Jesse. They'd like this time to pay it off with a touchdown instead of a field goal. No doubt, Reese. They had a lot of good stuff going that last drive. Need to get a tutty up on the board here to extend that lead there. And I think you definitely want a touchdown, but if you put another long drive together, get points, multiple possessions in a row, start to let those body flows add up and wear this defense out. Now the defense will try to rise up on third and short from the 21. Unloads to the right. Makes the grab. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. The Sooners getting set on first and ten. On the move, it's Beebe. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He'll pull it on the read. And the ball is out. Who's going to get it? Oh, and he's able to get back on top of it and avert the turnover. They recovered their own fumble, but now it's third down. Coming after it. Well, obviously, at this point in the first half, the defense is finding themselves in a hole. You just get the feeling if they're going to get back in this, they're going to need more plays like that. They're going to need sacks. They're going to need turnovers. They're going to have to create negative plays to get themselves some momentum. The Sooners will line up to punt it away. Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. Be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. Right down the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Looking to go up top on first down. That's caught. It's Watkins. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. 
He wants to throw it again. Caught close to the marker. It's crease corner. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. He wants to throw. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that A, it's zone, but B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. Touchdown, Oh Miss! Made the snag and strolled his way into the end zone. Man, nice job getting the passing game going. This is big, man. Going to the half, and listen, I know you're trailing, but building some momentum. Maybe this second half, we keep airing the football out, cutting into this deficit, and who knows what the heck will happen. Getting set for the point after. Right down the middle. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finished the deal with a 26-yard touchdown pass. On the run from inside his own five. And he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. He'll start this drive firing. And that one falls incomplete, trying to get a chunk play on that one. After misfiring, it's second down. Thompson wants to throw. He looks that one in nicely. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarter. Lost one deep down the right side. It's incomplete, and they tried to finish this quarter with a bang and couldn't quite connect. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. All right, thanks, guys. You've had yourselves a superb broadcast so far in Oxford today. It's been a fun start to this one, and this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead, and unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency, and that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. And with that, let's head back to the Grove at our fillers at Mont Hemingway Stadium. And the Rebels will kick it away first and will start the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. They come into this third quarter with a lot of work they need to get done. Yeah, and it starts with this possession. And, and I'm, I'm going piece by piece. I know this is coach speaking, very simple. I score, I get a stop, I score. I can get back in this game, but it's got to be one drive at a time. It's going to have to be, but I think the mindset offensively is we're probably going to have to score every time we get it because our defense has been struggling. They have not been getting a lot of stops, so this is a critical drive here for this offense. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. They're bringing heat. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Oh, it's a fumble. How in the world did the offense retain possession? The Rebels will bring the punt team onto the field. They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. And now the offense will come onto the field again. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Fires to the middle. Wide open downfield. And they get him down at the 43, but this is the kind of explosive play you want to build on. Well, he's able to make it easy after that catch, and I think his speed is something that just scares DBs to death. And you think about great Oklahoma receivers recently, guys like CeeDee Lamb, Sterling Shepard, Hollywood Brown. DBs gave them so much cushion because they were afraid they were going to get run by, and I think that's how defenses treat this guy, too. With his speed and his playmaking ability, he scares you to death, and that cushion helps him out tremendously. And you want to talk about gang tackling. Everybody on the defense run to the ball. And the Sooners racing to the line in the hurry up. 
They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Gets behind those pads, picks up four on the play, but it's still a fourth down and three. And this field goal team has been busy. This kicker comes out for the third time tonight. The field goal is no good. So guys, a missed opportunity to expand the lead. It's still a 17-point cushion. ready to send the offense onto the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Grab behind the line. It's Bentley. Discards a man. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Used the play fake, now to throw. Looking deep down the right side. Hits him inside the 20, still going. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. They're looking to pass from the red zone. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Batley. And there's going to be a loss on that play. Just run out of bounds and avoiding the contact. Wants to throw on second down. That's caught. It's well. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Pocket starts to collapse. And he couldn't find quite enough running room to reach the line to gain. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. Syracuse is going to enjoy the trip back to Central New York after a rock-solid performance. And you take care of business on the road, and you stack wins there inside the dome, and suddenly it's quite the resume. The circle of life in college football, where one team moves on feeling like kings, and the other heads home, looking at wounds. Hey, Kevin Connors, keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. Thompson to throw. Fires to the wideout. Makes a connection. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. It's a really nice job making the play. And you think about all the success they've had with Baker Mayfield and Jalen Hurts and, and Kyler Murray in recent years. But a big reason why those guys had success was they had big-time players in the perimeter getting open and making plays, too. It wasn't just all the quarterback position. They brought in some big-time recruits from high school at the receiver spot. This guy is no different. He has a chance to be the next great Sooner receiver. Couldn't ask for much more there. A first down, and they're down to the 42. Used the play fake, now to throw. Deep shot for the end zone. And the pass is intercepted. Bringing it back. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Well, the free safety's just sitting back there deep in cover three. He's got zone, he's got middle field responsibility. Just watching the quarterback's eyes. He reads the throw, breaks on it. That's just too easy for him. offense ready to go back to work. 
And to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse, they'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here. Dude. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. You've got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. Caught in the backfield, it's Watkins. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. And the Rebels want to crank the tempo. On third and long, he has to throw for it. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. Yeah, and I like the shot, the aggressive play down the field. And we like throwing those jump balls up to my receiver, because usually the receiver makes the play and makes the defender look bad. Nice job by the defender getting a hand on it, tipping that ball away from the wide receiver. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Here comes the Sooner offense back onto the field. He's looking to throw it. Finds the tight end. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Trying to convert this second and short. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy gain. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. it into the end zone, but wait a minute. We'll have to check out the laundry on the field. <laughs> the officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Pulls and throws off the RPO. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. So after the first down run, here's second down. Thompson wants to throw. They've got the screen set up. I love screen passes on offense, and you got to do them in different ways. To the running backs, you can do them to receivers, do them to tight ends. Didn't gain any yards on that one, but don't be afraid to dial that play up again later. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. It is incomplete, and he almost had himself an interception in the end zone. It'll be fourth down. And they'll have to settle for a field goal try. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. And he takes this from inside the five. And he did a good job bobbing and weaving and finding a little bit of running room on that return. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. Trailing now by 17, David, this is an opportunity that they need to answer. And down by 17, it's not panic mode yet. Like, I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. I think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to drive this offense down the field and at least put something up. He lofts one down the sideline. And he's got it inside the 30-yard line. He'll work his way down to the 28. The Rebels want to move quickly. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. 
That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, Dave? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. They'll try to bully their way for the first. And he's bounced out of bounds, but not before a very productive game. And the Rebels trying to cash it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Dragged down at the six after a pickup of two. See if they can get it done on second and goal. Some misdirection with the counter. He pushes his way down to the floor as they get closer and closer. This offense desperate for a score here to try to stay in the game. It's third and goal. To the air. It's dark. Let's it fly. Touchdown, Rebels! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. And you got to give the offensive line all the credit for that one. The QB had over five seconds to find his open target down the field. Great job up front and pass protection for that touchdown throw. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. A 70-yard touchdown drive. And they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. Bringing it out. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Time for this Sooner offense to go back to work. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake, but maintain your aggressive play calling. Yeah, no doubt. I think it's the play caller right now just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here, Dave. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field. Just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football, and we got the lead. And it's incomplete. Good play down field by the DB. After the misfire, it's second down. Trying play action. Lofts one high and deep. And it's incomplete. Going for the massive explosive play instead. They're looking at a third down. Thompson to throw. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. And it slips through his fingers, incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. On the move, it's Watkins. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. This feels like a pivotal moment. Get the ball back on the punt. You need to put points on the board on this drive. Yeah, it's a sense of urgency right now has got to be high for this offense. Trailing the way they are here, David, they've got to be able to put something together, score some points, and build confidence. Yeah, it's not panic time, but you do want to build that confidence and find some. He's going to throw deep right side. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. On third and short, just trying to get enough for the first down. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. The Rebels in the hurry up. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. Nice confidence by the QB. Good throw over the middle of the field. Nice little strike down the field for a big play. Listen, you got to throw it where it's open. And he found a slot, found a little hole in the middle of the field. Nice job attacking. He stopped just short of the goal line at the one. An explosive play has him set up. 
Well, this defense has tried to find ways to disguise their coverage and mix it up to try to confuse the QB. It's not working. With that last completion, he's now got over 300 yards passing. Looking for the score! Almost intercepted. They took a shot on first down and just about turned the thing over. Marches ahead. Touchdown, Ole Miss! And the comeback is on! Up and over, Yama will be there into the end zone. And, and you don't want to leave your feet very often in football, but this is one of those areas where you do. In the end zone, near the goal line, you smell it. A lot of bodies in front of you. Just get up, get over top of them, get that touchdown. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. Buffalo went into hostile territory and came away with a convincing victory. The Bulls always seem to get everyone's best punch, but today they were the ones who delivered the knockout. Catch in the middle, it's Anderson. It's one game, you don't want to react too much either way, but I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. On first down, here comes this offense. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody, based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Now on first down from the 30. They're going to ride this running back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Out of the gun. The running back has it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. He's looking downfield to throw. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. The offensive line coach will be pulling his hair out. His head coach is okay right now because they're winning the game, but from an O-line standpoint, they've been atrocious in pass pro. The Sooners will send out the punt unit. He'll try to really get into this one. He was working his way toward midfield, but they'll stop him at the 46-yard line. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. This is a game of swings and momentum and a great opportunity here after scoring on the last drive, getting a stop, and now you have the football back. They're playing well right now in all three phases, and they're complementing each other. So now, David, it's up to the offense here. It's up to this quarterback to lead this offense down the field to get a score. Yeah, and to stay aggressive, to, to understand we've had success, we got this going the right way. Now I don't need to change anything. Go back to your go-to plays that's now got you some momentum back in your favor. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. And the Rebels pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The run to the left. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. The Rebels will hustle to the line. Caught behind the line. It's Harris. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. It would be nice to pick up a few yards on third down because from here, it's a 57-yard attempt. From the gun, running back on the move. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. Fellas, we have a tie ball game here in the fourth. 
nice as it is a head coach to have a kicker like this. It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. The returner will field it and try to do some business. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So Oklahoma has it again, and here comes the offense. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Thompson wants to throw. Oh, he can't hang on. Almost had the interception, and this guy makes so many big plays but couldn't come up with that one. It'll be fourth down. Surprisingly makes a fair catch just outside the 40-yard line. Out comes the offense as they get set to take over. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Now on second down. Off the play fake. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. Oh, what a big play for this offense as they get it to the 33-yard line. Off the play fake on first down. Getting some heat. Fires to the big fella. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. Got his man downfield. Touchdown, Rebels! And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. If this dude were a kitchen knife, you would be slicing the tomatoes so thin your in-laws would never come back to your house. Well, that'd be a good thing. I don't know if I want my in-laws to come back anyways, but he's been on fire. He's been absolutely torching this defense. They've had absolutely no answers for him. They'll try to add another to their lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Here come the Sooners, ready to go on offense. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting it back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right there. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Looking to throw for it. Pressure coming. Firing to the right, complete. And they wrap him up, but not before. He gets enough on the catch for the first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. What better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And he's knocked down before moving the chains. The Sooners come to the line in the hurry up. Off the play fake on first down to throw. 
He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. Makes the grab and knock down, and he's got it at the 25-yard line. Big drive for this offense late, trying to tie the game. They piece together a couple of first downs, and here they come again. Grabbed over the middle. It's Roberts. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. And the Sooners have it with a first and ten. He'll do it himself. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Operating in the red zone here on second down. The RPO, it's complete. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Looking to move the chains. They throw it complete to the left. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown sooner. He has been surgical. Precision passes. Using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for him. Just, uh, he's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point was good, and we are all tied up in the fourth. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. Rice is going to enjoy the trip back to Houston after a rock-solid performance. And you take care of business on the road, and you stack wins there at home, and suddenly it's quite the resume. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But, boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. Takes the handoff. It's Bentley. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Good job running top and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. And the Rebels hit it quickly to the line. They'll try the run. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. first down. The Rebels are on the move. Back to throw. It's dark. He's got him in the flat. He's brought down solid. Pick up a little bit short of the first down. Here comes the offense on second down. They're going back to the ground. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Running to the left. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting the man on the ground. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Got it behind the line. It's Watkins. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. A field goal attempt from this spot would be 52 yards out. A few yards on third down would make it easier. Trying to pick it up on the ground. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The clock stops as we have reached the final two minutes of the game. So here we are on fourth down and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. It is perfect. And now they've taken the lead here in the final two minutes. 
Well, the offense and special teams did their job right here late in the fourth quarter. They put themselves now in position to win this game. It all comes down to the defense. Can they deliver? If they get the stop, they win this game. So they are lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut them down. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Sooner offense returns to the field. To the air on first down. Fired that thing out in a heartbeat, but it's incomplete. After the misfire, now on second down. Thompson to throw. Fires to the wide out. On target to the left. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chain. Wants to throw on first down. Going to try to pop one on the screen. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. The Sooners come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He'll just keep slinging it. Throws for the tight end. It's complete. Defense needs to regroup as he gets it down to the 26. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. Trying to find his man on first down. A shot toward the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma! And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space on the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Going up top on first down. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. Pulls it in. It's Harris. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. Wants to throw on third down. He's going up top here late in the game. Reels it in down the left side. And after the pickup gets to the sidelines to stop the clock and keep this drive going as they try to save themselves late. Exploded for a huge chunk of yards on that last one. They'll try to do it again here first and 10 from the 33. Trying to get to it. And he can't find anyone open and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. Looking for a man. It's dark. He's going to run it. And he slid through that attempt, and he's got room. Timeout call by the offense. 24 seconds left on the clock. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Trailing by a possession, they need to keep the ball. They'll try to convert on fourth down. He'll go up top, maybe a deciding play here. Fires toward the end zone. Incomplete on fourth down, and man, did they need to keep that drive alive. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. A little sports history, David. Upset is the only horse ever to defeat Man of War. And that's why we call games like this an upset. I really had no clue that was a, a real thing. But I do know this is an upset. This team was unranked, beat a ranked team. But you went out and got your respect. You gained it now. Let's build on this throughout the season. One win, great win. Now let's go ahead and build some momentum in the future. Three, some 
one trick pony with that <laughs> reference. And obviously, this was the team, the unranked team, that had the horses to get this thing done. Too much firepower, just too much explosiveness on offense, great defense. What a tremendous one. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.